Hello there. Today we're going to be looking at all of the rares, their locations and drops inside of the Hillsbrand Foothills. I've always been a massive fan of this zone. I think Blizzard got the aesthetic spot on. There's six rares total in this zone. So today's video may be a little bit of a short one. So let's just crack on with it. Creep Thess. Up first we have Creep Thess, a level 24 spider that hangs around in between of the Alliance Mine and of South Shore. Creep Thess is notable as it is the only grey spider in this area so it's pretty easy to pick out and um, just kind of has general abilities that you would expect a spider to have. Slightly higher than average health for a mob of its level but nothing too dangerous at all. If you kill Creep Thess you will be rewarded with a random green, no unique loot, but nevertheless still quite nice to have. Big Samurus. Up next we have Big Samurus, a level 27 black bear that hangs around in the northern portion of Thoradin's Wall, just to the northeast of Dunehold Keep. Big Samurus, you'll, you'll probably know this place as the gateway into the Hinterlands, so um, yeah, he basically hangs around there with the Griffins. The fight itself with him is pretty easy, there's a couple of creepers and other bears sticking around in the area. If you are slightly low level, please try your hardest not to pull the griffins as they will do a crap ton of damage and you will probably die. But nevertheless, Big Samurus doesn't really do that much damage. If you kill him, you will be given a random green. No unique loot, but nevertheless, still nice to have. Tamra Stormpike Up next we have Tamra Stormpike, a level 28 elite dwarf that hangs around inside of Dungaric. It goes without saying that as he's a dwarf you will not be able to kill him on Alliance, and I'm just going to point out here as well on my way up, there was a tattered chest. So there's a couple of chests in Dungaric that you can take, um, if you're in the area you might as well go for them. I would not advise going for this rare unless you're specifically on the quest to send you into Dungaric, that's because in Vanilla WoW everything in Dungaric is an elite, so it's really really painful to go in here by yourself, you're always going to need a couple of friends. That being said, if you are on the quest to kill Captain Ironhill, definitely do it. You know, he's on the way, you're going to get free greens. That's just the way it is. He does just drop a random green, no unique loot there. But nevertheless, again, if he's on the way, you might as well take it. Row Bark Up next we have Robark, a level 28 null that hangs around in the Nathanderstead. Robark kind of hangs around at the side of the field, um, there's not normally too many nulls around him, I'd probably say maybe one or two occasionally, and they're generally casters. They do also heal as well, so just be aware of that. So if you are taking him on, uh, you, it's probably best to kill the ad first, otherwise it may try and throw out a couple of heals, they tend to have a lot of mana. As for himself, he's not actually that difficult to kill, he just seems to hit you a couple of times. And if you loot him, you will get a random green. No unique loot, but nevertheless, if you're on the way to Dungaric or somewhere else in the area, why not kill him? Up next we have Scargill, a level 30 murloc that hangs around on the western strand. Scargill is uh, spawnable in a couple of different places on the western strand near a few of the different huts, it's just worth checking them all out anyway because some of them have chests. The thing to note about Scargill is his massive amounts of health. He's not an elite, however it took me at least two or three full level frost bolts to bring him down, bearing in mind this is a level 60 frost bolt and I have raid gear on, so for a level 30 to take that long to kill is quite surprising, so just be aware of that. When he gets killed, he will drop a random green, no unique items I'm afraid, but there's a lot of chests in the area so it might be worth just going down here anyway. Lady Zephyrus Thank you. 
Up next we have Lady Zephyrus, a level 33 Naga that hangs around on the eastern strand. The only thing to note about Lady Zephyrus is the fact that there's occasionally a couple of Naga around her, so just make sure you don't pull them. She doesn't really hit that hard at all, um, pretty easy to kill, way less health than Scargill, and will drop a random green when killed. That's about it. A little bit disappointing, but, you know, that's the way these things are. And believe it or not, that about wraps up Hillsbrand Foothills. It may be one of my favourite zones in terms of looks, but it's definitely not one of my favourite zones in terms of rares. Really disappointing actually, it's clear that Blizzard definitely didn't have any time to implement any unique items for this zone. I think 6 rares is about right for the size, it would have been really nice to get some unique items here because to be honest, there's tons of character to the zone, and it's quite important lore-wise anyway, because you've got Durnhold Keep, and South Shore, and Taran Mill, and all these all these really important places, as well as holding the gateway into Alteric Valley. If you enjoyed the video though, please do let me know in the comments, and if you want to see more of these, subscribe to the channel.